Welcome back to Let's Play Saga 2 Gihou Densetsu. This is Big Lotus, and we are in the Tower of Ashura after we have just added Mask to our party. So, wait, what's this? Exclamation mark. Eh? Oh, another extra, huh? Yeah, let's get her out. Eh? Oh, we need to get a key, huh? Mr. Blue Oni? I think the Oni is like a Japanese version of Goblin. Okay, I know we fought all these guys before, but... Let's fight these guys now, and try to get the meat of the beetle. Because if I get some beetle meat, I can change from that sword, the Duradel, to a sprite. Which I feel is better. And I made a mistake in the last video. The first type of sword, the Duradel, doesn't correspond to the Gale Bog. It corresponds to a Hofud. And if you press the B button, you can fast forward. Oh, and we did get some large beetle meat, so let's eat it. And we turn into a sprite, and we inherited... Change. I'm just gonna say circle change, which means you're strong against change. Now, there's ways that you can become an even more powerful variant. Where you can get more than just the sleep and the cure. And I've highlighted it in my Monster Evolution Primer episode. So if you're interested in learning about it, you can just read that. Or not read it, just watch the video. And I'm sure once I have some time to grind, I'll get the sprite variant that I want. When you get the sprite variant, you can get break instead of sleep, and heal instead of cure, which heals all your party members, and heals status ailments, which is a lot better. But for now, we'll just stick with the sprite that we have. And Mask, when he was in battle, he couldn't do anything. Because he didn't have any equipment. But now he got his equipment back, and he can fight. So what type of stuff do you have, Mr. Mask? Oh, okay, so you got a bunch of bronze armor and a battle hammer. Let's see, should we equip him with anything else besides that battle hammer? No, I don't want to give him the saber. And here he has a bronze shield. No. But you know what? Let's put that saber to good use. Let's replace this bow with it. It'll increase Robo's agility and his hit points. It increases his agility by 6. And increases his, his hit points by 50 points. That's pretty good. I guess we'll just give the rest of the uses of this bow to Mask. You can't unequip anything that your fifth party member has. So you can't just take your fifth party member's equipment and sell it right when they're about to leave. Alright, anything over here? Oh, okay, there's a trap in the floor right there. Right now we're just looking for treasure. And that's why... I like this game that eliminated most of the random encounters by having the enemies visible on screen and you can avoid them. That means you can go from one area to the next fairly quickly. Oh, this must be the blue oni that that girl in the cell was talking about. You're right, I haven't heard about you, but you locked the door from all the way over there? Oh, jeez. Okay, so Oni, that's the 
I guess, Japanese version of uh, Goblin because I haven't heard of an Oni outside of this game. Let's see, let's use this new saber. And we'll put this guy to sleep, or at least try to. And, oh, looks like he's no good with that bow. But Robo is very good with the saber. Alright, so we got the jail key, so now we can unlock that girl's cell. It doesn't look like there's any other treasure in here. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we just... we fought that guy before. So let's just keep going. And we got Blizzard. Which is kind of like fire. But it does cold damage. However, I'm thinking about... Keeping fire where it is. I mean, I could move the Blizzard up. But I'm thinking if I keep fire where it is... I'll be able to keep it because... I mean, almost everything is weak against fire. Only... A few things are really weak against ice, otherwise it does just like just regular magic damage. So even though I get more uses on the blizzard, I think I'll keep fire on a higher level than it. So I might lose it later in another battle randomly. Okay, let's try to get this treasure. No! Oh! Okay, this is the first time that we've seen a live oak in a Duradel. Which I said earlier corresponds to a Hofud. And the live oak here does not correspond to the live orc in Final Fantasy Legend 2. It actually corresponds to Maple Man. But here they made Maple Man the live oak. And I believe they made Sequoia the equivalent of live orc in Final Fantasy Legend 2. No, we don't want to eat that meat. Not right now. Okay. Well, that was a dud. And we didn't even get any treasure out of it. Come on, what? Ah. Okay, I'm pretty sure we fought these guys before, but let's just showcase this for right now. Let's showcase the Sprite's Thunder ability. Now, I kind of like the whip that Robo has, because it has a chance for stunning an enemy. I believe it's a 65% chance, which is not bad, even though the damage does, is not very good, because Robo's strength is really weak. Okay, and the Esper class changed to attack. Now, I'm not really sure what that means. And I don't even think you can see, like, what your Esper class is or what your weapon proficiency is because you raise your weapon proficiency and there's different weapons every 50 uses and it can go up about 10 times. I think it's exactly 10 times. So once your proficiency go goes up 10 times, then I think you get the best to hit rate with that type of weapon. Otherwise, your to hit rate when you start using a weapon is not very good. And right now, I changed my formation to put Robo in front because he has way more hit points than Chrono. And he has a higher defense, so... Typically, your first member of your formation will take the brunt of your attacks. So if we have the member with the highest hit points there, and with the highest defense, then they can ward off most of the attacks. Okay, so we got a gold shield. Now, gold shield is good for evasion, but if you equip it on a robot, it raises the robot's defense. So it'll raise it about four points, and it'll 
increase Robo's maximum HP by about another 20 points. Let's see. What's up here? I think we're getting a little far, actually. I think we should go back pretty soon and find out who that is in that jail cell. So we're going to turn around. And here we are. Let's go into this trap door. Ah! Oh no! Okay, so we got an elixir, but there's another trap door here. That's how we get out of the cell. And looks like we're trapped in the cell with a couple monsters. In there. All right, so it looks like Shala took some damage, but we can heal her up with her cure. And we'll heal up Robo because he was 70 hit points off of his maximum. And now it dropped us all the way down here. And I'm not even sure which way it advances up. Let me get my bearings. Okay, that's the pillar that we broke, so I think we have to go the other way. So let's go through this door. And then we gotta go around here with the 3D view of the tower. And then I think we'll be on the jail level. Alright, so let's just go to the cell over here. And we'll let this girl go. Nice green hair, very anime. Oh, you're Mel, huh? Mel Mean. You know, there was some girl looking for you. Oh, her name's Polly. Ah, you must be one of the muses. Alright, so I guess we have to go find that ginger redhead and tell her that we found Mel. Maybe we'll get a surprise after that, too. But that'll be for later. Right now, let's make our way back up the stairs. All the way through the interior of the tower. go up here. And since we're not looking for treasure anymore, it shouldn't take us nearly as long. Oh! Ambushed. Okay, this was the level we were at before when we turned around and Go back to the cell. So now let's go up here. Oh, okay. Thanks for the info mask. Appreciate that. We're good over here. Okay, there is a treasure chest over here, so let's go grab it. Ooh, a magic source. Let's improve Shala's magic. It'll improve her spirit by three points. That will make her even more powerful. Oh, a strength source. We'll use that on Chrono. It'll improve his strength and have him deal even more damage when he does his main attack. You know, for monsters, you guys are pretty inept. Alright, we got a gold helmet. But I think we already got a gold helmet for everybody. And we got a green dragon blade. So let's check these items out. Okay, it looks like 
Robo has a gold helmet. Yeah, we we got gold helmets back in town. Oh, but we can't give it to Mask because we can't de-equip his bronze helmet. Oh well. Yep. No way to give it to him. So, he's stuck with his starting equipment. Now this green dragon blade does strength times 9. But it's a katana. See, now there's a bunch of different weapons that you could have proficiencies with. The long sword is the long sword class. I'm sure there's different other long swords. And then they have like a great sword. They got axes, hammers. And we'll see what else they can get throughout the game. Alright, I guess we're at the location we need to be. Oh, this must be Big Bad Ashura, huh? Hey, uh, I think there's something wrong with your chest. They got kind of a growth on there. So, is he talking out of the mouth in the middle of his chest or the mouth on his head? Yeah, I wish we'll think it, but... I'm not gonna give you no relics. Come on now. Now, there is a really easy way to beat this boss. He is weak against Break, which is the same as Petrification. Now, if you have a variant sprite, you can get Ashura in one round. But we just have a regular sprite, so we'll just use Sleep. And Sleep does work on this boss. You know, he uses his turn to recover from it. Now, he is immune to most spells. Fire, ice, thunder. So weapons are the best way to go. Now if you have a sprite, there's really not much you can do. Except cast sleep. Yep, he's immune against that too. Now, I'm glad we're able to use this katana without missing, because we just started using a katana weapon. Right. I don't think we'll have a chance to see Ashura make any offensive attacks. We'll just keep casting sleep on him. That looks like the mallet from Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, Thunder doesn't work either, so if you have a sprite, there's really not a whole lot you can do. And it seems like Shala's bow really isn't working too good either. I guess we'll just keep casting sleep until we're done with him. Note that I'm not using my Threats of Fate. Oh, Heal! That's one of the best spells in the game. Alright. We got a lot of stat boosts from that battle. I'm pleased. Impossible, huh? Well... I don't think so. Alright, we got Speed Crystal, Magic Crystal, Ice Crystal, Lightning Crystal, Poison Crystal, Inugami Stone. We'll see what that does. I'm 
sure we will. What's that thing? Oh, it's a teleportation ball, huh? Well, I guess thanks for your help. Wait, you're not gonna come with us? But you heard that Kai's in trouble. What's the matter with you? Alright, but will we be able to save Kai in time? Find out next time. This is Big Lowe signing off. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. And, have a good day.